Okay, so I'm over at my neighbor's house and uh, I'm going to do a brake change, rear brake pad change on his 2007 V-Star 1300. So, got the new, new pads there and I thought I might have to take the saddlebags off, but I think I can get at it, the caliber here, right? So we got this one bolt here. And then there's another one up there. So that's the first thing to do is get those two bolts loose and uh, pull them out. And then the caliber should come right out. It's just like a car. So I'm going to take those two bolts out. So those are like the pins. And, uh, and then take the caliber off, take the pads off, push the piston in, and, and put it back on. It's pretty simple. Okay, so... I could get my 12 mil, so it's a 12 mil, I could get that on that one, right? So I want to loosen that off, but still keep it on there. And then you're going to have to get your your open end or whatever. Spanner, as the Brits would call it. And uh, just get that one up there. See? So you crack that loose. And then we're good. So now we just take these two bolts out. So that one and that one. And then this whole caliber should come off. Okay, so I know this is hard to see, but you know, that's this caliber. So, right, so it goes over there. Right, so you pull that off. Right. Okay, now we can sit it over here. And then, uh, we do is just pull the pad off the disc here, right? So there you go. Pretty simple. So there's the old pad, and look, there's the tiniest, tiniest little bit left on that, right? And there's your new pad. So he wasn't metal on metal yet, but he was pretty damn fucking close. So this is the perfect time to change the brakes. Right, so I just put the new pad on, right? So it's just like a car, right? You got this hardware here, so you just slide them in. So you want this, this uh, concaved end facing outward and the convex uh, facing that way. So here you can see which way they go. So this is puffed out and this is half mooned in. So it appears they're both the same, so it doesn't uh, really matter what side they go on. So, yep. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Happy with that. Now I'm just going to take my C-clamp. Right? And just like on a car, you got to compress this piston in. Right? Pretty simple. Okay, so I got the C-clamp on, so I put this uh, pad back there to kind of protect the piston. And you want to put like uh, this end of the C-clamp on the outside, if so you don't want to mark up the caliber. You know, with cars, it's not a big deal, but with motorcycles, well, not this one, I guess, because it's hidden. But with most motorcycles, you kind of want to, the caliber's usually showing, so you don't want to mark her all up. So, uh... So yeah, so just some extra precautions. Just it's nothing. It's not like it's gonna break it. It's just like a cosmetic thing, right? So then you get your C clamp on there, and you just push in that uh that piston. All right. So I push that piston in now, and now you just uh put the caliber back over top, and put those two uh, bolts pins back in, and and that's it. It's really simple. Okay, so there's your piston back on, and you put your two your two bolts back in there. In there and then uh, what you want to do is you want to pump the brake until you get some feeling there we go and that's it done so it only took about 20 minutes you know like I've I'm pretty mechanical I do a lot but I would say you know for someone who's never done it if you give yourself an hour uh, you should be able to do it so yeah no problem there's how you do the rear brakes on a V-Star 1300. I think I paid about $50 for the for the pads. 
So for 50 bucks, you can do it yourself. All right, guys. See you later.